All right, going to do another video further showing why the saint has no business getting involved with Halloween. And that is the fact that Halloween is obviously rooted in paganism, witchcraft, and also human sacrifice and also child sacrifice too, which are which is an abomination to God. Child sacrifice is totally a sin and condemned as an abomination. And it shows some scriptures on that and show also how child sacrifice is connected with heathen customs. Hence why, you know, you'll see that the fact that Halloween is pagan, you know, you also see that there's human sacrifices in the origins of Halloween. So uh, let's get right into the scriptures. So like I said, child sacrifice and human sacrifice is a sin and an abomination to God. And also you'll see it's connected with heathen customs. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 30 down to verse 31 says, Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them after that after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations how did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do uh, thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord which he hateth have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. You know, they're basically sacrificing their sons and daughters. Deuteronomy chapter 8. And again, we see the thing is it's connected with the heathen customs and the the customs of the god of the basic people who worship the false gods around them. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12. Here we see human sacrifice being connected with witchcraft, which again is where Halloween has its origins and it's a witchcraft holiday. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter and that's not that's not me. Like, like you'll talk to any former witch, they'll tell you that it's a high day in their calendar. But Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. You know, it's an abomination, but we see again, you know, passing, causing your son and daughter to pass through the fire, and you know, is being linked with witchcraft. And like I said, Halloween is rooted in witchcraft and child sacrifice. It's an abomination to God. The saint ought to have nothing to do with something that's an abomination to God. Okay. Do uh Second Kings chapter sixteen verses two to four. We're gonna again see that whenever they adopt heathen customs, child sacrifice comes in. 2 Kings 16, verses 2 to 4. 20 years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, and did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord his God, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, yea, and made his son to pass through the fire, according to the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord cast up from before the children of Israel. And he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places, and on the hills, and under every green tree. Notice that too, under every green tree. Kind of a kick at Christmas as well. When you're putting, you know, presents under a green tree, you're essentially just doing human. You're, you're basically doing heathen, you know, customs and sacrifices under a green tree. And there's multiple verses of that. I mean, I'm not going to go too much in Christmas. I'll have some videos on that as well in the future. But just wanted to kick that that because Christmas is every bit as false and pagan and occultic as Halloween. Let me just point that out. Uh, the saint ought to have no business celebrating Christmas either. And in some ways, it's actually even more occultic than Halloween. But I'll be covering that in my Christmas videos. But we see there, when they're adopting the heathen customs, the abominations of the heathen, we see that uh, what what follows is causing your son, basically causing a son to pass through the fire. You know, heathen customs bring in human sacrifices and child sacrifices, which again, we see it's the abominations. You know, it's an abomination to God. So by extension, Halloween is an abomination to God because this is what it's rooted in, witchcraft and child sacrifice. So just more examples of, because there is no scripture that outright says thou shalt not celebrate Halloween, but we see that the customs of Halloween are condemned as an abomination to God. Plain and simple. And just in general, like human sacrifice is just repulsive to just the average person who is actually like sane and in the right mind. So I mean, really any normal person would be repulsed at you know, when they find out the origins of Halloween. So anyway, don't be deceived. Uh, Halloween is not anything you ought to be involved in if you're a saint, plain and simple. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.